first glance, Joshua chapter 12 may seem like just a long list of kings and territories and may seem inconsequential. And you may even be tempted to just skip over a chapter like this. But if we look closely, we see some key points that help to put this chapter into perspective. Through this whole chapter, we see listed king after king that were defeated and territory after territory that were given over to the Israelites and the land that he had promised to bring them into. Joshua 12 verse six says, and Moses gave their land as a possession to the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh. And then in verses seven and eight, it says, Joshua gave this land to the tribes of Israel as their possession including the hill country and the western foothills of the Jordan Valley, the mountain slopes, the Jordan wilderness, and the Negev. The chapter finishes out by telling us that in all, there were 31 kings that were defeated. God gave the Israelites victory over 31 kings. That's no small feat. These victories were given to the Israelites by the grace of God because Joshua and the Israelites trusted God this is the picture of the way grace works, the way God's power works on behalf of his people, by faith and by trusting God. What are the things in your life that may seem like unsurpassable armies on your path to God's promises? God wants you to have victory over the things in this life that may seek to hold you back from his promises in your life. Allow scriptures like chapter 12 to strengthen your faith and trust in God. If he can help Israel defeat 31 kings on their path to see his promises fulfilled, he can surely give you the strength you need to overcome whatever it is that's standing in your way of seeing his promises fulfilled in your life. <music>